<coughs> hey guys, well, some of you asked about the auto coil and how I got it wired. I've done it probably different. I should have redid it so I could just use the kill on the on the key, but I did it a little different. So, okay, first I'll start with the toggle switch. We put a toggle switch in there. So, now it's energized. And you turn it off. See, you turn it off that way. And the key is basically for the electrical. So, it's not as convenient. But, okay. And being that this is a points engine, that's where... The biggest thing is. So I have a power line. I believe I'm taking power off the headlight switch. I did it like four or five years ago, so sorry I'm not specific, but a battery power source through that switch, and that goes to the positive on your coil. Then the negative goes to the condenser. And you see the other wire, the condenser, is the one that goes into the points. But very simple. The points just tell it when to fire. And that's all there is to it, really. Let me see. I was working on... My, t my lights weren't working, so... I wanted to see why. And uh, why I'm putting it together. And it turns out it's a... Uh, a loose connector at the headlights so but see now to start this baby hit the switch I got a loose wire up here somewhere. Let's see. I had a wire. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. It was working before it started. One of these is loose. Or something. I had. I had it. It worked. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to take it. I'm gonna take the switch out. It's a pain in the ass with that gas tank in the way, but yeah, it is what it is. Ticks me off enough, I'll just run a new line. But there you go, guys. So pretty easy. I was gonna figure out a new mount for that coil instead on the grill, but I'm not really. I'm really limited on my room. I was gonna mount it there, but I forgot about the governor. Because the governor moves more than I care to get that in the way, so yeah, we'll cross that bridge when I get there. Alright, well I hope that little video helps. <laughs>